Hi folks, in this video we are going to have an inset view on digital twin technology which is an emerging industry 4.0 technology and uh, myself uh, and Samuel Jaspreem working as assistant professor in the department of automobile engineering at Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. Let's get inside this video. The digital twin technology, so it's a modern era industry 4.0 technology. So which is basically the application of artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things and data science. So before getting inside this uh, video, so let me greet every one of you who are watching this video to have a great day. So let's start this uh, class with a positive quote that is Arthur C. Clarke who has told that the only way to discover the limits of the possible is to go beyond them into the impossible. So this is giving a motivation to every one of us to become innovators. So as I told you the digital twin technology so as the name implies it is the twin the term twin which means identical siblings who got birth from a mother in a, in a particular time period okay so they will have a, a, a array of uh, similarities in their uh, outlook their uh, face uh, their activities and uh, their characteristics okay so in a similar fashion so this particular digital twin is the concept of creating a digital replica model of any object or vehicle or a, any given system or machinery in order to visualize its dynamic abilities without even uh, seeing it in a physical condition okay so that is the level of advance that we have with digital twin technology and where do it came from so it is from uh, an, a fictional story which is uh, written by uh, david gallanter in the year 1991 so in, in his book Mirror Worlds, so he has proposed this particular idea as a fiction, right? So based on this particular idea, Michael Greaves from the University of Michigan, so he presented uh, this particular concept of digital twin uh, in uh, Society of Manufacturing Engineers Conference, which took place in Troy, Michigan in the year 2002. In the later stage, um, NASA, we all know that they are the frontiers of uh, space research. So they experimented this technology uh, in the year 2010 and after getting all the necessary information the people came up with beautiful ideas and uh, innovations and finally they have launched this particular technology in a commercial market in the year 2017 okay and let me illustrate the concept with uh, an illusional or a, uh, a fictional story so we all uh, might uh, 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 capture this image we, we, might, we, we might have seen this particular image which is uh, coming from the avatar movie which is directed by james cameron okay which, which is a very big hit success movie so we very well know that in this particular scene we have seen uh, the particular pandora village of avatars the entire village is showcased into a smaller area which can be zoomed people can view view in it and every single detail can be zoomed in and watched so which is uh, basically from the concept of digital twin okay and uh, let me show you some real-time examples also being an automobile engineer so now i am uh, showing some real-time examples of uh, current era cars so in the left side we are able to see a mercedes-benz car which is nothing other than the mercedes-benz s class uh, of 2021 model and recently it uh, got awarded with the uh, uh, world luxury car of the year 2021 award okay so in this particular vehicle as we are seeing in the uh, image okay so the entire vehicle's model is shown in the center console of the vehicle. By the way, whatever uh, the changes the driver is making with his powertrain or its uh, dri drivetrain system, his, the vehicle's seats or um, uh, four-wheel drive system, whatever the changes he are making, he can visualize everything in the vehicle's digital twin model given in the cockpit. And in the right side, we can able to see the Land Rover. So we very well know that Land Rover cars are known for their off-road capability. So it has many inbuilt electronic on uh, off-road features in it. Okay. So say for example, in, in case of a rollover mitigation or in case of uh, the four-wheel drive, uh, locking the differentials, everything. So he can visualize from the cockpit itself in the digital twin model. Okay. So for example, if he enables rear differential lock, so it is uh, shown as a visual in the uh, model digital twin model which is uh, displayed in the cockpit okay so this is how the advancement helps in uh, visualizing the dynamic condition of vehicle or any system or machinery in uh, its uh, uh, virtual environment right so there are three different levels or types of digital twins the basic type is digital twin prototype so which is very well helps 
uh, engineers or R&D people in order to showcase their product very well before its production. Okay, say for example, if an R&D department of a automotive sector, so they are planning to showcase their uh, vehicle before uh, constructing the prototype even, they can very well uh, show the visualized virtual model, right? And in the second case, we have digital twin instance. So this is apart from just showing the concept, they can make some basic uh, calculations or basic computations based on the model. Say for example, the vehicle's ground clearance or the vehicle's uh, wheelbase, track, aerodynamic uh, system, then what about the air dam size, sill out of the vehicle, fascia, everything can be easily uh, identified and uh, can be discussed in their uh, R&D board meetings also. Okay, that is the level of advancement we have in digital twin instance and the most advanced form of digital twin technologies, digital twin aggregate, which is shortly known as DTA. So in this, even the crash uh, tests can be performed without uh, manufacturing the prototype. So very well, we all know about the Asian NCAP, global NCAP kind of uh, uh, crash assessment programs. So in all these things, uh, uh, people are testing with some regular standards, say for example, 60 km per hour in uh, a side impact or a frontal impact or partial side impact like that they have various categories so all these things can be easy, easily done with the virtual prototype that is not even having a physical prototype they can uh, do all these crash tests in the virtual environment with the help of digital twin so that is the level of advancement we have and uh, some basic characteristics of digital twin are starting with the connectivity so we all very well know that it uses all the latest current technologies so all these technologies require higher level of connectivity whether it is from a sensor or to actuator or connectivity internet connectivity everything are coming together and uh, so in connectivity is the main uh, characteristic or required thing for a digital twin technology second we are moving to homogenization which is all these technologies are working together for a single objective so the objective is to implement the uh, dynamic abilities of the uh, system or the vehicle or the machine into the uh, digital prototype twin twin prototype of the particular thing right so that is the main objective of homogenization uh, then the third thing is programmable and smart so it is using artificial intelligence so basically it will have some level of uh, autonomy to decide okay and uh, another thing is reprogrammable which means it can be programmed say for example if i want to make a crash test uh, in 80 km per hour instead of 60, I can do, do with it. So that is the flexibility provided by this digital twin technology. Then modularity, easy to uh, function as a single module and easy to access also. Okay. And finally, digital traces. We all very well know that all the transactions or computations or uh, activities done in digital environment is uh, stored in uh, as background data. So that is the uh, uh, main uh, uh, base for data science. Okay. So here the digital traces are available. So even the smaller mistakes done or smaller corrections to need to be made or smaller changes required, everything can be found by the digital traces provided by this uh, particular um, uh, digital tin concept, right? So there are some real time application cases. The interesting case is NASA. So, so they used uh, this particular concept for rescue machine of uh, Apollo 13. So uh, you might be knowing about Apollo 13, so we don't have enough time to talk about it. So in that, they, they have first used this uh, concept of uh, digital twin, right? And uh, world's leading um, energy management company, that is Chevron, so they have a uh, complete analysis, that is their uh, forecast of uh, all the energy market till the year 2024 with the help of this particular digital twin technology. So they have the complete... Uh, uh, set up the forecast of uh, oil fields, refineries and everything so uh, till 2024. So that is a very good sign of forecasting. Then uh, and a beautiful technology is healthcare industries that is doctors and surgeons are using this technology. So in order to resolve an issue in a patient's heart, they can make the digital twin or uh, digital twin of the organ or heart whatever it is. So that can be made and the practices can be done with the particular model. By the way, a 100% perfect or near 100% perfect surgeries can be done or treatments can be done with this uh, particular digital twin. That is a very good advancement. So thereby it saves lots and lots of lives. And uh, another interesting thing is in motorsports, especially in Formula 1, uh, they are recording all the data during their trial runs of a vehicle or by a manufacturer. manufacturer. So they are recording all these data and all these data are manipulated based on that 
they are predicting the track performance after predicting the track performance performance very easily they can able to feed the driver with the necessary information by the way he can uh, react according to it and based on this reaction very well they are coming up with uh, a beautiful result by thereby achieving in the f1 uh, rally and uh, one beautiful uh, example is uh, singapore government they have created the entire smart city infrastructure in the digital form so whatever the required information like a digital map so you can see all the complete city in your uh, hands in any kind of digital form that is the level of advancement they have then finally we, we are coming up to the latest uh, uh, application which is iit bombay who have uh, convened their e convocation function okay so the in the pandemic situation uh, people cannot come or they are in order to get their degree so these key convocation help them to um, feel like appearing in, in the real time convocation so which is a welcomable um, introduction by iit bombay and uh, now many iits uh, they have followed the same trend and they con con conducted their e convocation function yeah now we are moving to the benefits of uh, digital twin technology so starting from quality the complete quality of any product or service can be improved because we are doing everything in the virtual environment by the way in the real time product you can get the final good results and warranty and cost and uh, services can be very helpful because we are for we can forecast it whether the, this, this model will fail or this uh, component will fail you can forecast it very well before the launch of the product then operation cost is getting reduced as i told you crash test or uh, aerodynamic profile everything can be easily analyzed by the way operation cost of any um, product can be reduced then all these records are written they retained and uh, everything is properly recorded that is what known as record retention and serialization then we have new product introduction cost and lead time is getting reduced because we are reducing it by concurrent engineering already but here we are also using uh, lots and lots of virtual prototypes to test the components in a real time uh, ad, uh, real time conditions in a virtual environment thereby the time as well as cost is getting reduced so which provides a very good opportunity for new businesses and the revenue in the all businesses getting improved so these are some advantages which are uh, given by the deloitte uh, analysis report i hope this video might help you in learning something new thank you all for which watching this video thank you once again